Russia at the beginning of the Great War was an empire on the brink of collapse, just like the Austro-Hungarians and the Ottoman Empire. But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't defend themselves when it came to war. Obviously once Serbia called for Russia's aid, they replied. And they had a short arsenal of weapons that they were using. And this is what they were using. So to start things off, we'll start it simple with the standard issue rifle, which is the Mosin Legand. Now I did say in my World War II Russians weapons video that the same Legand was used for both wars. That wasn't entirely true, I did get the numbers mixed up. So from now on I'm just going to refer to them as the Mosin Legand. If you want to find out the specific versions, well you just look online. This was a decent rifle carrying a five round internal magazine, but it wasn't the best. It was good, but not best. Obviously in trench conditions, it was too long, so carbine versions were made. Now, before the 20th century was born, Maxim unveiled the Maxim machine gun. Now Russia, well, then, remake the Maxim gun, they just bought Maxim guns. Now these Maxim guns, they use all the way up through World War II as well. So, 250 round belts, you can't really go wrong with it, so I guess that's why they kept them. Now I did mention in my World War II video something about the next weapon that's going to be featuring, because I'm actually going to be covering it again for the third time when I do my video on the Russian Revolution and that is the Nagant Revolver. Russia's own revolver. Actually no, it's not a Russian revolver. It's a Belgian revolver made for the Russians. And it housed a seven round drum which could either be detached and inserted with a new one or you could just unload all seven rounds and put seven new ones in. Now, they were, I hate to say this, but this, they were the main weapons that the Russians used in World War uh, I. But there was one weapon that they did experiment with, but it wasn't seen until the Winter War. And that was the Fedor of Avtomat. A weapon that had a 25 round internal magazine. So that means you have to load it with five round, stri five, five round stripper clips. Which, depending on how you look at it, is either annoying or pretty useful. So, they were the Russian weapons of World War I. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. I know there isn't many of them, but that's because, well, Russia's industry wasn't the best. So, I will see you next time for one of the bloodiest battles of the First World War.